Good afternoon, YouTube. It is an exciting week here at the Worldwide Headquarters of RecTech. Today, Chef John has a doozy for you. It is easy weekday meals. He's got that RT 1250 ripping hot. It is lunch break presented by RecTech. You guys, share this. Let's get going. Chef John's going crazy today. What is up, YouTube? How are you guys doing? Welcome to another lunch break. I'm Chef John, and I'm so happy to be here with you guys. I don't normally get a chance to be on YouTube, so this is exciting for me, guys. Go ahead and smash that red rectangle. Share this all over the internet before we get started. Well, as Chef Greg said, it is Easy Weekday Meals Week. All week long, we've been bringing you nothing but our very best meals to get your like school life started back on the right foot. Well, keeping that in mind, I decided to do some pork tenderloin medallions wrapped in bacon and some roasted veg. Today I'm cooking on the RT-1250, our newest grill. That's right, I'm burning those Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets. It's a perfect blend of red oak, white oak, and hickory for that penetrating smoke that leaves your food tasting delicious. Chef John, I think we got a slow jam this lunch break. We're a slow jam? Everybody it? out there has got a, got a comment down below. Yeah. Is Chef John looking good? Well, we yeah. know he's looking good. Is he sounding good? Can y'all hear me? Put all your comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section. I got my main man, uh, our master chef, Greg Muller, on the ones and the twos. He'll be reading all of those questions out. But let's go ahead and get started with this stuff. So, Chef Greg, will you hand me that tenderloin I have in the refrigerator? Because it's hot day today. It it's hot, it's hot out here the on the Rec Tech deck. It's a little warmed. So, I just went to the store and we just got a pork tenderloin, right? This is your standard pork tenderloin. That's what it looks like when it comes from the grocer. And sometimes you got to pay attention because it could be that two pack where you get that's true. two pork tenderloins in that package because they're kind of small. You never, you don't realize they are kind of small. These ones are actually kind of big. The ones we got here today, Chef Greg. Dude, they are. They're they're a little girthy for they're pork tenderloins. Thick. They're a little thick. All right. So what we're gonna do is. We're gonna clean this up real quick and get it seasoned up before we put it on the grill. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take it out of the package, right? Get on in here, country. Show the people. We gotta show them what we know good. Yeah, right, so this is what it looks like, right? It looks really good. There's a little bit of fat on here. We're gonna take some of that stuff off. And there's a little bit of a, there's a tendon running right here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bony knife and we're just gonna cut up underneath that tendon, right? Flap it up. And then we're just gonna take our knife pointing up. We're just gonna slide it down that tendon, right? Come straight off, super like easy. Like a surgeon. I'm telling you. Chef John, I'm pretty sure you like were a plastic surgeon in a previous life. I'm telling you, I probably could have been, for sure. Steady hands. Steady, steady hands. We wanna give out a shout out to our Sherpa though. Poor Sherp was feeling a little under the weather today. Couldn't couldn't make it into work, Chef Greg. So send Sherp some love in the comment section, guys. You and know then, he needs it. And then that Jody Flanagan Barbecue Dad, you know, still kind of yeah, still recovering from an academy uh, academy weekend. Yeah, I mean, I think it was because he took like fifth or sixth place that he just needed some time to like recover from that. I understand, Jody. I totally understand how it is. I've been there. All right, so we're gonna trim <laughs> up some of the edges. Right, make sure it's nice and clean. Then we're gonna cut some beautiful medallions out of this, right? Now, we're gonna wrap this with bacon. So when you're cutting your medallions, you wanna keep that in mind. You wanna make it about as thick as a piece of bacon is gonna be. So we're gonna give it a, a slice here. Get and one medallion. this is great, so you can do like individual portions. You don't yeah. have to worry about wrapping the whole thing and, and cook it to a really good degree of doneness. I That's like right. It. And it's gonna cook a lot faster too, Chef Greg. I, you know what, John? I don't think we have wrapped pork tenderloins in this fashion I, don't yes. think we, I, I think don't this think we is a new one. one. Yeah, this is definitely a new one. I try to keep it fresh for the people, Chef Greg. And it's easy meals week all week long. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and season this stuff up. Now today I'm going to be using, they're the best duo, that Honey Rib Rub, right? Oh, yeah, You buddy. get that at rectech.com and some of that Ron Screaming Pig. These things work so well together when you're putting them on top of pork, right? So we're going to start with the Honey Rib Rub. We're just going to give this a shake. 
John, we got folks tuning in from Jersey to California and everywhere in between. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, smash that red rectangle. Share this all over the net because you know somebody who's got a pork tenderloin in their closet right or in their fridge right now, ready to bust it out. Now, Chef Greg, a lot of people get the pork tenderloin confused with the pork loin. Right? Yeah, buddy. Wouldn't you yeah. say that? Oh, for sure. And pork now, loins are not, you know, pork tenderloins are not 10 pounds. No. If you, if you email me and say you got a 10 pound pork tenderloin, I'd say you have about a 1,700 pound pig. <laughs> it's not possible. That's what it would take. Yeah, pork tenderloin, pork tenderloins are usually about maybe three pounds a piece, give or take. Yeah. Sometimes they're smaller. John's got a pretty big one here today. Yeah. Um, great application for that. All you right. can do this with pork loins as well. It's just going to be a little bit firmer of a texture. Totally could do this with pork yeah. loin, for sure. All right, so now that we got it seasoned, you really want to let this rest for a minute, okay? So we're going to put this to the side for just a second before we throw it on the grill, wrap it in bacon. Now, I want to get into our veg. Now, roasted vegetable is so overlooked, so easy, and so delicious. Guys, I, I highly encourage you guys to go out there, grab some of your favorite vegetables, and cook them up like this. So you're going to need a big bowl, right? And I just grabbed, or actually Chef Greg grabbed me, grabbed me some broccoli, right? We've got uh, some zucchini, we got some squash, and I got an onion. So super simple. What we do is we take our zucchini, right? We're going to cut the ends off. Ryan Johnson's out there saying he is in on this. This is what I'm talking about, Brian. So we're going to go ahead and cut it in half, the zucchini in half. Now we're going to go ahead and slice it into thirds, right? Going to get three or four plank slices out of this. Yeah, super buddy. easy. Right? You want them to be thick because they're going to cook down, right? They're going to lose volume. So you don't want them too small, otherwise you'll just be left with some mush. All right, so in the bowl they go. Super easy. Chef We're John, Brandon Howard is out there saying you were throwing Jody some shade today. <laughs> I'm just saying sad but true. I've been on the bottom. I know how it is. It's okay. You were not you on the bottom this past Academy, no. John, because you took, a, I took third. first place in, in pork, though. Third overall, first in pork. Running one, two behind Chef Greg, who came in first. But I'm going to catch him, you guys. Hey, I'm, I'm three I promise out of four, man. You. you are. You're GCRC, doing it. GCRC, I mean, I, we're, we're, we're making <laughs> dreams happen. You're doing it. You are <laughs> doing it. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing with the squash, right? We're just going to cut it into thirds. This is a super, super easy way to cook your veg. I, this is how I really cook all my veg on the grill. All right, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of olive oil. See, I think you're right on point with this, John. Some people cook, cut it a little too thick where it can't get some of the water out. Right. Or they cook it too thin when it kind of gets dry and leathery, dry. like it's a mm -hmm. happy medium. That's it. It's a happy medium. And we're, now we're going to go ahead and season it with some of this, our newest rub, that Ray's Loco Gringo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This stuff is herbaceous, right? It's got that Southwest, a tint of Southwest seasoning to it. Herbalicious. So we're just going to go ahead. Actually, we're going to kick this thing in riot mode. And again, this Southwest rub is not hot. No. It is super flavorful. Tons of herbs. Yeah. Paprika. Mm -hmm. Chili powder. Tell them, Chef Greg. It's fantastic, but it's not hot. Some folks, you know, don't like spice. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, you will fall in love with this. Anything from uh, from poultry to potatoes. That's right. It's delicious. And guys, you could, this is in the sauce and spice bundle. If you go ahead and order that from Rectech.com, this will come in that bundle. And remember, if you're at Rectech.com, you're ordering stuff, anything over $99 ships for free. Don't forget about that. All right. So now we've got our zucchini and our squash in here. I'm going to show you a trick on how to do this broccoli. So we want to make sure all this stuff is well seasoned, right? Don't be calling me. I'm in the middle of a show. So you're we're going to take our broccoli. Man. We're going to tip it upside down. And I'm just going to take the olive oil, right, and just go inside the broccoli upside down and let gravity do the work for me, right? I'm going to come on the top, a little bit of seasoning on, or a little bit of oil on the top, perfect. And then we're going to come right back with the loco gringo. I think people sleep on that roasted broccoli. I'm I mean, telling you, it is super, so super tasty. good. We're going to hit it underneath some of that seasoning, hit it on the top. That's perfect. A little bit more underneath. And I love the stems, man. I'm yeah. Super, super delicious. I'd rather cook it like this, Chef Greg, and then pull it off and cut it off than I would just go ahead and just cutting it all up. Dude, I couldn't agree more. Because sometimes you put it in that, that water, yeah. and it gets that funny smell to it. No, mm -hmm. no. Roast it off. Super delicious. All right. So this is the best right here, guys. The RT1250 right here. Got that second shelf. Slides right out. 
We're gonna go ahead and put all of our veg down. Room for days for on that. Days, grill. Chef Greg. Four days. It's super handy too now with that sliding shelves, the, the top shelf and the bottom shelf sliding out. Super versatile. So we're gonna go ahead and throw our veg down. Robert Lello is there saying, don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> That's right. That is right. All right, so back in it goes. Absolutely beautiful, right? Perfect. So now we have this onion. And really, this one is going to take the longest. You want to start this for first. It's going to take about 45 minutes. But we just got a regular white onion. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the top off of it, right? So this is the top, and this is the bottom right here. That's the bottom of the onion, top of the onion. Very important. You don't want to get those mixed up, especially for this application. So then we're going to take our knife, and we're just going to score the onion, right? Four equal parts. And then we're just going to peel the onion. Now, this is one of my favorite applications for grilled onions, Chef Greg. I don't know if you know this. Dude, preach. Let's go, man. But I'm, when I'm, I'm cooking onions on the grill, this is how I do it every time. All right, so we're going to peel the onion. We're going to discard all that peel, right? Then I have a nice piece of aluminum foil. I'm stick it right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this onion, not all the way through, but just down to the bottom. We'll do it again. So we've cut it into quarters, right? Now we're going to cut it into eighths. Not going all the way through it, but just to the bottom. Right? Chef John, Rusty Perfect. Root out there was asking him, is that extra virgin or just virgin olive oil? Uh, just uh, whatever. If this is extra virgin, I think, but whatever olive oil you can get. You don't have to use extra virgin, especially if you're going to be cooking. If you're making salad, salad dressing, I would totally say extra virgin is the way to go. But uh, when you're cooking it, it, just go ahead and get regular olive oil. It's not going to make that big of a difference. All right. So we have our onion. We have it wrapped in our little aluminum foil, which is going to hold it up, right, which is what we want. We're going to take some of that olive oil. Yeah, buddy. We're just going to give it a little drench, right? And then we're going to take some of that Chef Greg four-letter rub. That stuff is absolutely delicious. I think of it more of an all-purpose rub, Chef Yeah, you Greg. put it on anything. Super yeah. fine grind, extra more delicious. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and hit it. It's our trade secrets around right here, okay? Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, and then on to the grill. This is going to go. Now, I have the grill rocket out at 400 degrees. We're burning those Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets. Perfect blend of red oak, white oak, and hickory. Woo, I'm telling you. Dude, I love that. That's such a colorful shot inside the grill. And if you want to incorporate a healthy lifestyle, yeah. you know, eating foods of a variety of color, yeah. I mean, it's a great way to kind of, you know, just live your best life. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's probably about 98 degrees out, out here on the beautiful Rec Tech deck in lovely Evans, Georgia. What did you, you say get that? You're going to get your Lance Bass on, you I'm know? telling you, I'm melting like a Hershey bar in the summertime right now. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this uh, pork up. All right, clean this up. Now this is what we're going to do. So you can see that the pork's starting to get uh, the meat sweats is what we call it. There you, you go. You can really tell how it's starting to get a little damp and moist and all that seasoning has really started to adhere to that tenderloin. That's what you want. Chef John. Yes, sir. Speaking of meat sweats. Talk to what me. What if you don't want to get your beer sweats? How do you keep your beer cold? Beer, keeping your when beer cold. When you're on cold, the road, man. I'm telling you, keeping your beer cold is a serious thing. When you're on the road, I like to use that Rec Tech Icer cooler. That 20 quart fits perfectly in that passenger seat. Chef Greg, you put a seat belt around that thing. And right now, if you guys go to RecTech.com with the purchase of selected grills, you get 20% off any of those. 25. Oh, 25% off. Now, Chef John, if you wanted to get that 45 quart cooler yeah. for the truck, yeah. is that 25% off too with the purchase of a lifestyle sure series enough grill? Sure enough, it is. Sure enough, is. All of them, Chef Greg, the 75 quart, the 20 quart, the 45 quart. Your choice, guys. Take advantage right now. Head on over to RecTech.com right after the show and make that purchase. So, John, if, I, if I'm buying an RT340, yes, the sir. smallest lifestyle grill in our lineup. Smallest one. Can I, can I get that RecTech Icer 75 for the boat? You sure enough can, my friend. <laughs> now, what if I wanted to buy that RT2500 BFG? Could I add that smaller 20-quart cooler for the uh, passenger seat of the truck? Hey, if that's how you want to live your RecTech lifestyle, I say do it, my friend. Do it, do it, do it well. All right, so I have some bacon here. Now, you guys could tell, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, this bacon, I rendered it down, seasoned and rendered it down just a little bit. 400 degrees on the grill for about eight to 10 minutes. 
It's like par cooked. Right. So, and this is the reason. So when I put it back on that grill, I want this bacon to get crispy. You know, I want it to really uh, add some moisture to this pork. So I gave it a head start. All right, so we're, all I'm doing is I'm taking our, our tenderloin, little medallion pieces. I'm wrapping it in some bacon, going all the way around. So right? the people out there got to think of this. This is like the filet mignon of the pork, right? This, it's the same piece exactly, of meat. Exactly, same piece. It's the same muscle, so super tender, Good super call, lean. Chef Greg. It is. Tons of flavor. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this. Now, guys, make sure you season your bacon. I see a lot of people doing this, and they're just using raw, unseasoned bacon. If you want to take it to the next level, up your game, go ahead and start rendering that bacon out. And this is good for if you're doing a, a beef tenderloin, too. Go ahead and render that bacon out, and uh, go ahead and give it, season it, and give it a nice, tight wrap. Chef John, if you, did, if you weren't a fan of the bacon, which I don't know if we could be friends with people that don't like bacon, <laughs> but could you could use like a, you know, Italian uh, prosciutto? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can use whatever you want. You're only limited by your imagination. Italian prosciutto would be excellent with that. It's a great call, Chef Craig. All right, so we're gonna finish wrapping this one, and then they're gonna go on the grill. Now these are gonna take about 20 minutes. We wanna bring them to an internal temperature of at least 135 degrees. That way we're gonna know they're gonna be super juicy and tender on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and throw them on. That is smelling amazing right, right now, John. Chef Greg? Super easy. So much room on this grill. You guys can see I've already went ahead and started some stuff because I didn't want us to have to wait too long. But super easy. Room for days. Mm, 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 mm. Lester is uh, lusting over that 1250. Lester, pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Add Lester. the 1250 into your lineup. You will not be disappointed. But no. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out there now. Go ahead and add one of those Reptic Icer coolers in there. 25% off. I'm telling you. You can save $87 on that 75 quart cooler with the purchase of a Lifestyle Series grill. That's Got anything from the RT340 all the way up to the RT2500 BFG. That's right. And guys, you don't know how long this deal is going to be going on, so take advantage now. It's hot. It's summertime. You know you need a new cooler. You know you were just complaining about how that cooler didn't keep anything cold, has that crack down the side of it. Honey, we got to get a new cooler. Go ahead. Make that purchase. Get yourself a grill and get 25% off of any Rectech Icer. Mm. My boy John Starcevich out there is, is uh, you know, Preaching the gospel. Bacon is the duct tape. Bacon is the uh, duct food. tape. And you, you are 100% there, John Starstitch. Yeah, you totally are. Greg, I want to talk about the RT1250 real quick. Dude, One of the things buddy. that I love about this thing is that newly uh, controller that we have. That two-band controller. I mean, this controller gets the grill from 180 to 700 degrees in about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm telling you, it's got to be one of the hottest full-size pellet grills on the market right now with that six-year bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. I mean, you can't stop, won't stop. And running that dual-band uh, controller will make it really, really easy for you to connect and stay connected uh, to your home Wi-Fi network. Again, it's going to run that 2.4 and that 5 gigahertz bandwidth to make uh, your Wi-Fi connection seamless and streamless. Oh, yeah. All right, Chef Greg, so I went ahead and got some vegetables going, right? I'm going to and start pulling these bad boys off. They, these things have been on for probably about 20 minutes. And that's what's beauty about that, that uh, solid second shelf up top. You can yeah. slide it in and out, get all the way to the back of the grill. All the way Super to the back easy. Of You're not going to drop anything. You're not going to burn your hands. Nope. Look at that. Look at that roasted broccoli. So nice. You guys can see the onion. I'm going to puss that thing out too. Ooh, buddy. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, so this is how we're going to finish. Robert's this got a question asking if that front shelf yeah, will hit me still with connect it. And with that competition card. Absolutely. So that, that rounded beveled edge comes uh, standard with that uh, front folding shelf and that RT1250. You also have the four stainless steel tie downs, so you can strap it to the back of a trailer. Oh, or if yeah. you wanted to, you can utilize that competition cart. It will fit as well. But again, the RT1250 comes standard with that uh, all new beveled edge front folding shelf. Standard. Makes life super easy. Look at that onion. Got a little bit of juice still in there. Oh my god. We just need some yum yum sauce for that, that onion, looks buddy. So good. We're just gonna spread out these vegetables. Look how delicious these things look, man. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. All I'm right. glad we got an east to west wind here because I am drooling like I'm a I'm telling you, kid. I'm telling you right now. So, like I said, we want to bring these to about 135. Oh, and I could tell they are perfect. 
absolutely perfect. You can see that bacon is rendered down properly. It's got nice and crisp on the top. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to grab our pieces off. Oh, yeah. Check that out, YouTube. That's what I'm talking about. We'll get these picks out of here. And while John's pulling those skewers out of there, again, the RT 1250 comes standard with that front folding uh, shelf that's got that beveled edge. It's that pinch free design. Mm -hmm. You've got a cast iron heat deflector on there. It's an all new, uh, all new controller setup. The, the algorithm and some internal components will get this grill hotter faster than the competition. Again, uh, you can set your temperature all the way from 180 up to full. You'll see temperatures up to 700 degrees. That is insanely hot for a Peloton. Insanely that, hot. That RT 1250 is going to hold heat for days. Four days. All right. That so side shelf has been redesigned. Phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. It's is the what baddest it is. of the bad, John. Yeah. So we're going to just finish this off with a little bit of barbecue sauce, right? And here you go, guys. You are ready for dinner with a plate full of deliciousness, healthy deliciousness at that, Chef Greg. You know what? Bacon is uh, is my favorite vegetarian food. Bacon is your, oh yeah, yeah mine too, I'm, I'm Chef waiting Greg. for people to, to just call me out on that. <laughs> if you've never had vegetarian bacon, you know, it, pigs eat vegetables all That's day right. long. That's so right. pigs themselves are vegetarian. That's true. And I feel that that makes bacon vegetarian pretty much vegetarian yeah, yeah i agree with you chef greg all right chef greg you want to come over here and try some of this deliciousness with me i mean i didn't think you'd ever gonna ask come on over my friend i'm so excited right cheers buddy cheers cheers to you mm. Mm -hmm. that's really good ron screaming mm -hmm. pig honey rib rub perfect combination for pork the mm -hmm. bacon leached out all that delicious bacon fat into that pork loin Tenderloin, so good. Mm, 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 mm. Just enough spice in there yeah. to make you feel alive. Yep. And that's a great a great tip when it's really, really, really hot outside. Yeah. Maybe incorporate a little bit more spice into your food. Yeah. And let you know, kind of cool down a little bit. Cool down a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Chef Greg, do we have any other amazing questions out there? If you can, can you recap real quick what you did, time and temp, uh, to that pork tenderloin? All right. So you got the pork tenderloin from the store. Did some slight cleaning to it. Took off some uh, tendons, a little bit of fat. Went ahead and cut it into uh, medallions that were about as thick as a piece of bacon is wide. Seasoned it up with Ron Screaming Pig and that honey rib rub. Let it sit for about eight minutes till it got real tacky, got those meat sweats. Then we went ahead and wrapped it in some rendered bacon. Now I cooked the bacon at 400 degrees for about eight minutes just to pull some of that grease out of it and make sure it was gonna get nice and crispy wrap that around, season it with honey rib rub, and wrap that around the tenderloin, put it on the RT-1250. It took about 20 minutes to cook it, bring it to about 135, 145. We're burning those Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets. I'm telling you, it's a perfect blend of red oak, white oak, and hickory. Set at 400 degrees, it was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Chef Chef, they want this recipe, what do they gotta do out there? All you guys gotta do is go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break, put your information in, and we will email you this recipe plus so many more. And guys, make sure you're following RecTech on all social media because you never know when we're going to go live. And I would hate for you guys to miss out on some amazing content. Please make sure you're following me on all social media. I am Chef John Pinnell. Just type that in. You'll see this big, brown, beautiful face pop up. Hit follow. You will not be disappointed. Make sure you're following my counterparts on their social media. He is Chef Greg Muller, and he is Barbecue Dad Jody Flanagan. Guys, if you ever need to talk to a real live person, though, you have a serious question, you need to talk to somebody, all you got to do is give us a call at 706-922-0890. We have somebody waiting by for your call, waiting eagerly to answer all of your questions. Chef Greg, you got anything else? Man, I'm ready to grub out on some of this uh, pork and veggies. You know, it, it's been right about 30 minutes, so it's That's been an official about. show. That's what I'm talking about. Well, yeah. guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And remember, take care of one another, listen to one another, and never forget, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the rec tag. Do 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 rec tag lifestyle set it and come get it when the sun starts going down live your life the way you like it's a rec tag lifestyle do do